Welcome back. So after the commercial break, we about we were speaking about what can be done in line to vision and and uh, and plan. I think it's about God has given us a privilege through Jesus Christ. Uh, he has given us a hedge, the hedge that protects our dreams and our vision, our 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 mission. Okay. So our mission is protected yes in Christ Jesus mm. if we allow him to be part of the journey yeah but when we do not allow him we we might end up sharing the mission and not even achieve the vision okay mm. and then a good example back to let's go back to Joseph now mm-hmm. as we have said that uh, Joseph had a dream Mm-hmm. And it was not the first dream. Yeah, he used to have dreams. Mm. And I remember Joseph was the favorite of his yeah. of his father. Mm. So the good clothes they were his. And in other words, mm. he was more favored to his father than all his brethren. Yeah. And uh, because God had chosen him, because actually in his father's family is the one who was having the dreams. Mm-hmm. Maybe his brothers had their own dreams, mm-hmm. but it has never been mentioned anywhere. Mm-hmm. But his dream, it is mentioned. Mm-hmm. So it means that the in in our family, you might find that among brothers and sisters in our family, there might be one person mm-hmm. who sees things, mm-hmm. who dreams dreams, mm-hmm. and they come to pass. Mm-hmm. Okay, on uh, and uh, in that family, his brothers or sisters, maybe they might decide to hate him like how it was done to joseph joseph now featuring our scene uh, from joseph joseph was sold to egypt mm-hmm. then he interpreted the dream mm. so the, uh, joseph had the power to dream mm-hmm. and also to interpret the dream mm-hmm. now on our life today we might be we might have dreamers of dream mm. but cannot interpret the dream Mm. You can see a vision, but you are not able to expound the vision on how to do it and how, how to work on it. What it. can you say about uh, uh, having the dream and knowing how to expound it or how to analyze it and make it come to pass? In line to dreams, yes, uh, we'll go back to what Daniel said to Katneza. I don't know Nebuchadnezzar who he, he told him only God can reveal this because dreams are uh, mysteries in the heavenly realm. Yeah. And remember the secrets of the Lord are revealed to those who are yeah. seeking him. Those who seek the Lord are the secret of the Lord revealed, the righteous. Yeah. So in line to dreams, mm. in each and every family, as you mentioned about Joseph, in each and every family, there's always one person that is lifted to change or bring a difference in the family. Yeah. And that's why you find that in a family of maybe 16 or 10 or 4 or 1, you find that too. You find that there's one person that always comes out to change the name of the family god choose one person and if you find that you have a vision that is stronger than you you will always be hated mm-hmm. and remember jesus being chosen among the hosts of heaven when he chose himself to come and save the world he became an enemy to the devil yeah so the devil hated him and that's why they are, when he was announced there was killing just to oppose him when he had fasted the enemy came to him to destroy him he was a uh, uh, led to the cross to die because the enemy thought that if I kill Jesus, I kill the vision of God of saving mankind. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, sometimes you might think that you're destroying someone's vision, but you're helping God to accomplish what He has purposed mm-hmm. in the life of that person. Okay. So, when it comes to dreams and vision, as much as you're giving it to God to direct your steps in the mission statement, then God takes the center stage of your life, there's always a success. Remember what is written in the Bible that so and so worked with the Lord, and the Lord made him to prosper yeah the vision of the lord was to make a generation that is prosperous mm. a generation that is wealth because he himself is god of wealth the god of all the earth so when people align their life to walk with the lord at all steps of their life towards their vision they are always attained to succeed okay share your vision speak loudly about your vision mm. but don't share your mission statement because okay. your mission is between you and god this is where somebody goes back to god and tell god here i am what do you want me to do the bible says that you shall hear a voice behind your back telling you this is the way walk in there in mm. now that's the mission okay god you have given me a vision and god announces you before men that this is whom i want you to become 
then it's you to go back and ask him father you have given me this vision like david like solomon said this great nation but i'm just young how can i lead them give me wisdom that i may lead them now wisdom was the mission give me wisdom that i may walk in the leadership that you want me to do you see yeah so when a person is humble enough and dealing through humility to go back to god and tell him you are the source of everything you are the knowledge giver give me the way in which i will accomplish this vision so, because vision is personal it's god given now we can say that uh, when you have a vision mm. the first thing you need to do is to pray, pray for god mm. to give you the way forward mm. on how to do it mm. but now we have this person you know as at today mm. many people even christians so called mm-hmm. they see visions or they have dreams mm. but they just take it as part of life mm. which is part of life yes but they just neglect it mm. understand one thing in the spiritual realm there is nothing like i don't know yeah. everyone does not exist it is either you are negligent mm. or you do right. failure either you are ignorant or you do yes exactly mm. if you fail to do what you are required to do it means that the outcome of whatever was supposed to come mm. if it was to be positive mm. and you saw something negative mm. the negativity will still come that's why we are given weapons of war mm. you read your bible you pray mm. ask god the way forward mm. what does many people do you have a you have a dream at night you just wake up and the, the first thing they see hey oh it was just a dream mm. you were dreaming running and being chased away by people people trying to kill you mm-hmm. and you just wake up in the morning and just say hey hey thank god it was just a dream so i i think on uh, matters dreams we will put it in the next episode which is dreams and what to do about the dreams when they come yeah in they are because they are different dreams there's a dream that is of god yes that comes at night when your men are weak and sleep and there's a dream that you have this is what i dream to have i have i want to reach this and this place this is a dream i have so i think we will we'll expound much on that so now tell us that what tells us there is a vision there is a dream mm-hmm. and the dreams that we are we dream for ourselves yes because you you can have a dream and vision and because today we are dealing with the vision and the dream that god has set ahead of you mm-hmm. that is something that god has shown you mm-hmm. as a, a good example we have uh, abraham when god told abraham i will bless you mm. abraham took hold of that word when he told him mm. i will give you a son mm-hmm. of your own mm-hmm. He, there is a time that he just stayed and waited for God to do mm-hmm. but it came to a time and uh, he went back to God and uh, asked God you told me you'll do this and this and this why have you have you not why why has it taken too much time for you to mm-hmm. answer my prayer mm-hmm. then God told Abraham go and bring this and this and this and this to my altar Mm-hmm. Now the moment he took whatever God asked him to take. Now at that time there came a slip. Mm-hmm. Then God spoke to him. Mm-hmm. And after that now the the vision or oh, the vision of a child it was fulfilled. Mm-hmm. So anything that God speaks to someone I think there is a way forward to do it god cannot show you something that you are not capable of achieving yeah. that is point number one mm. and when god gives you that now he expects you to go back to him and ask him the way to do it mm-hmm. so what can you say about those people who just wait for god to answer their vision or the vision to come to pass but they are not doing anything i'll i'll just do it like the bible says is the vine where the branches so if you think you're going to succeed in doing your own vision alone the word says apart from you can do nothing yeah come reason with me and lord wants you to reason with him so that he can tell you the mysteries of what is hidden in your dream good example when we were beginning live nation media this was a dream that was had in back in 2013 They always knew that one day we will be sitting somewhere to discuss about the word of God and there are more visions that are coming in line with Life Nation. 
that the nations will see the liveliness of Christ in the new new generation. Amen. So in line to that, I used to go back and ask because uh, it began as a, a DJC254. So along the way, it changed to Live Nation. And still there's DJC254 that is continuing. So along the way, I was asking God, if you're giving me this YouTube channel, what do you want me to do with this YouTube channel? And if I'm going to do that, how am I going to get the resources? And what type of resources am I going to buy? And who am I going to work with? Just have to ask God the hard, difficult questions because God wants to negotiate with you on every matter of your life. Yeah. Now, I've never shared with anyone about what I'll use, where I'll buy, where will I go, whom will I be with, but today you're here. Because I never ask you, I ask God and God say, that guy, that person is enough for that course. You will do this, you will buy this in the next year, January, you will have done this and this. And it's evident, you've seen, you've seen what will happen. Huh? Yes. So, I think that's the way forward. Going back to the source, mm. you gave me an assignment because on earth we are all living on an assignment. We are not living on our own, we are not of our own, we are living on an assignment. And that assignment is kingdom assignment. So, as we continue to do the kingdom assignment, you have to go back and ask the giver, the teacher, what do you expect of me and how am i going to do this wow. there is never a school where an exercise is given without an exam mm. and that's the same thing wow okay here we are live nation media mm. you share to your friends and uh, subscribe if it blesses you make more friends to follow mm. would love to get your comments there is uh, that uh, what do you call it that one for rating something subscribe button wow so when you as you go there you'll find everything there more videos are up and as we conclude on uh, this part remember vision is valid but you can still die with your vision not achieved mm. if you never find the mission on how to do it so what can you conclude because i remember we said that uh, share your vision but not your mission yeah what i think should happen is uh, you should go back to the lord and make him show you what he expect of you to do and in line for that you will be a prosperous and your vision will be fulfilled in a way that really surprises you Amen. god is the giver of all and is the finisher of all mm. seek him all things will fall in place god bless you Thank you very much. We'll be in part three, either part three or vision connected to dreams. God bless you. Welcome all. Thank you for your time.